The Milpera massacre happened in a quiet suburb of Sydney on Father's Day, September 2nd, 1984. Seven people were killed and many more seriously injured. At the subsequent trial, Justice Roden said, as patriotism can lead to jingoism and mateship can lead to cronyism, so bikey club loyalty can lead to bikey club war. to help stop this. He needs to help me stop this. Get you guys to put their guns down. What the fuck's Jock? You reckon, boys? A bullhorn ambush or a battle wage? Once you put the guns down. Fire like men. You better get that gun out of my face before I shove it up your ass.
fucking kill you! Hello? Ness. Snow? Where are you? There's been a shooting. They're, uh, they're taking Jock to Liverpool Hospital. Somebody will ring you. The fucking band-aid shot four of our blokes dead. Foggy, Leroy, Dog, and Sparrow. Did you get any guy under the gown? 
She's outside. Why? Oh, my God. Shadow's dead. So is Chop. What about Bull? OK, he's a gag. Caesar's been taken to the hospital. Four of theirs are dead. But why? No, why? Why did they have guns? Well, we, we had guns, too. Chris, what about Snot? Wait, um, Davo, Davis, Snotty, is Snotty okay? Yeah. Cops are taking statements, then letting them go until they sort out the charges.
They've kept us together as a club, but they didn't have to, so it's a privilege. So I don't want no trouble, all right? You keep your noses clean, and you be model prisoners, all right? Can you do that for me? Yeah. Yeah. All right, good on yous. Promise you, if we get through this, we'll be out on bail by Christmas. And behave yourselves in court, no falling asleep or calling out. Okay, this is our chance to show that we're different and show we're better than them. <laughs> it's a bloody show trial for the press. They can't prove we had a gun or a bat. Yeah. We pled in self defense, or what? Yeah, well, they were the ones that first to use guns. Mm. Huh? Isn't that what we're paying this prick lawyer to do? Mm. This is just the first bit, all right? We'll leave it all to Murphy. Oh. He knows what he's doing. Bloody hope so, or otherwise we're all rooted. Your Honour, I object to being charged with seven murders. No one told me the pick handle was loaded. Or that it fired both ways. <laughs> You're late. Yeah, well, the last time I came, he ignored me and slept. Oh, so patience prerogative. What's of interest? Usual. Public's pissed off. Fear of payback. Desecration of Father's Day. Oh, so it's a religious festival, Nick. You're seen as the one who caused it, Jock. Well, that's bullshit. Band-Aids are talking to the press. Maybe you should too. Why? And tell them more. Huh? I was misunderstood as a kid. Well, by the time this gets to court, people have made up their minds. So let them. Because I know what happened, right? I've got the scars. Oh, it's Mr. Tease. Mrs. Ross. Just about to go and make a cuppa, would you like one? These lads are here on official business. There's absolutely no caffeine, isn't that right? We'll resume where we left off yesterday. Fine by me. Now, you say you didn't have a gun. That's right. We found a weapon registered to you, a Bentley 12 gauge. So? How did it get there? It was in the boot of one of the cars. Whose car? Probably Kiddo's. And why did he have your gun? Well, he had a number of guns. Oh, yeah? Why was that? Insurance in case there were trouble with the band-aids. And at no time did you have this gun with you personally? No. Do you know who did? No, I don't. You were armed, though, weren't you? With a machete? Oh, you mean a gollock? In the military, it's called a gollock. G-O-L-O-K, pronounced gollock. Yes, but you're not in the military, are you, jock? So we'll call it a machete. I don't want you coming to court no more. I want to come. It's bad enough having to sit there and listen. So can we talk about something else? Joel is doing really well at school. He's a smart kid. Yeah, got his brains from me. Sometimes I think I'm never going to get out of here. Stop it. Or I won't come back. This is supposed to cheer you up. The times I've had with you and Joel have been the best times of my life. Why don't you tell me about that trip to the States? It was spread we're gonna buy. You went stringing me along with your snowgrass? Hey, I can't be with you at night, that's a trouble. It'll all be over someday. Yes, it will. 
one way or another. Tell me what you think about it not. You know what I think about it not. Tell me anyway. I'll write you a letter. I'm having trouble sleeping, so the doc's been giving me pills. They kind of work, but they give me nightmares. Last night, I dreamed about me mother. How I saw her when I was a kid, when she cut her wrists. I don't know why I'm remembering this. It's fucking with me mind. I see the split as if it was yesterday, over and over again. I don't want you in. You stay here. I just got to do what's right for the club. That's all that matters now. BFFB. Banditos forever. Forever banditos. I have a friend with dark green eyes. She's a long way away, but close. We met as friends, then parted as friends, then found each other again. We're lovers now, and we'll be forever. My love, my Lee. Lee for me. Would you look at this, Trevor? You are always a weak prick. Always. I've just got to do what's right by the club. Whose club is that? The one you swore allegiance to. The one that saved you from the gutter. Or some other club with a misspelled name and a Mexican hat on their backs. That's not Australian. It's foreign. And it shouldn't be allowed. And what's this shit? BFFB? A bloody fools forever bastards? Is that what that means? You're a common shadow. And you always will be. And you rose against your own.
Hey, Dave, hey. Is this mistletoe? Come and stand over here. I don't make promises you can't keep. Promises? I'm offering bull. So You'd be up for it, wouldn't you, sweetie? You OK? Yeah, why? Well, all the bullshitting call today. Who believes ballistics, mate? It's just more copper lines. Yeah, well, just because a gun registered to you killed somebody doesn't prove shit. Remember that? We didn't make bail. Fuck! Sorry to get your hopes up, but the lawyers thought we were in with a good chance. That's the way it goes. It's bullshit. The trial proper will start in April, and it looks like the charges will stand, but I'm meeting with the lawyers tomorrow, see if we can do a deal. What sort of deal? Limiting murder to those with guns or where the evidence is strong, which for us, according to the lawyers, is me and Lard. Thanks a bloody lot. I'm sorry, mate. You know, it's worth a try, though. There's no point in us all going down. We're a club. We'll stick together. If one of us is cut... That's we... bullshit! That's bullshit and you know it. I'm the prez and I'll do what's right. Happy Christmas. Where are you going, Snodgrass? I just need some air. It's locking in five minutes. You're not going anywhere, mate. You've got a card. Thanks. So there'll be no Christmas at the clubhouse. No Dave or Santa. Maybe we'll go to the clubhouse anyway and have a party for the kids or something. about the girl. They're gonna say that I shot her. And did you? Did you, did you shoot us, Nuddy? Shooting at them. All just happened so fast. Foggy, Leroy, then I took a shot at Jimmy. But it was the best. You shot Foggy and Leroy. And then they killed us. Yeah, they used to be your friends, Noddy. <sighs> the girl was with a guy called Shifty. He started in arms for the Rebs. He's got long hair, and he's really tall, and he looks just like Chewie. And I was shooting at the wrong man.
Yesterday, I saw the superintendent and asked for extra activity so the men. They've been fighting. Not that you can blame them. So they let us into the yard to let off some steam. We've been cooped up in here for too long. Hey, fuck off! I was fighting. I was fighting. Hey, fuck off! I was fighting. Hey, fuck off! Got a letter from Lee. I walked out on her on the last visit. If I lose her, it's my own fault, because I acted like a real prick. I apologize if she comes back. Sometimes I think things would have been better if I'd died that day with Chop and Shadow. Maybe if that had happened, then I wouldn't be called a Jock Ross. Happy Father's Day. Thanks, mate. I wish I could hold Lee and Joel again. If I could do that, I'd die happy. I wish all this had never happened. Shadow's birthday's coming up. Any suggestions? We can go to the zoo. San Diego Zoo. I hear it's a fucking ripper. <laughs> Anything else? Oh well. I reckon we should hire some strippers. And smuggle ourselves out in their myths. I know you're in. Next. My resignation. I've decided to stand down and I'll nominate you, Bull. I failed as prayers. You shouldn't be in here. I've told the lawyers they can say that I killed everyone if they let the rest of you go. This is not how I thought the clock would turn out. This club means a hell of a lot to me. I'll carry it with me forever. Paul thought about leaving because he could see we were losing our brotherhood. Well, I feel the same. Sometimes I wish I was with Shadow. And Caesar, wherever you are, I hope the cops never find you, mate. And I hope you remember the times I stuck up for you against a few of your brothers. I hope people think well of me that I did what I could and did the best for the club. P.S. If something should happen, all me bandito stuff in this book goes to me brother and friend, Lard. Me belongings, of course, go to Lee. Signed, Snotgrass, Snotty Spencer. B.F. F.B. One percenter.
I was born in Glasgow on the 5th of August in 1943. At 14, I left school and became an apprentice blacksmith. At 17, I joined the British Army and served with the Royal Engineers in Germany in the Far East. In 1966, I emigrated to Australia where my parents lived on the Central Coast. I knew some people with motorcycles, and the Common Shadow Motorcycle Club came into being. And I'll tell you why the club was suffering. Because it was me who split it. In August 1983, some of my men were drinking at the pub when Snodgrass and his men came in and belted them black and blue. And I could have retaliated right then. I could have shot them all the following morning when they were blind drunk at the party. But I didn't want this conflict with the banditos, and I'll tell you why. When I split the club, I had 12 men. By August 1984, I had 36. The club was growing great. Things were falling into place. I didn't want or need this conflict to stuff that up. Why would I? Those bandidos meant nothing to me. And the Crown alleges, because we got off our bikes and started looking all over the place, that we were doing something wrong. But ladies and gentlemen, when you go to a swap meet, what do you do? You get off your bikes and you look around. There's nothing sinister in that. I didn't go there that day to murder or help anyone murder anyone else. Make no mistake, I'm not here because of what I've done. I'm here because of who I am. The vice president is gone. The sergeant at arms is gone. And the crown and the police want a scapegoat. And that's why you've heard so much garbage put on me. They want someone to carry the can. And ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'm the only leader left.
I couldn't stay away. It just would have felt wrong. I'm glad you came. It's not he really liked you, Miss. Yeah. Yeah. He said you were like lemon on a cut finger, but that you were fair. Yeah, I really liked him too. I'm not just saying that because he's. I'm really sorry. Thanks. These men of ours did an awful thing. People lost their lives, Lee. Like. We live with her. We don't get a choice. 